tell someone that you have children? How early should a woman tell you that she has children? First date. Yeah. First date. I totally agree. Yeah. Disclosure. Do you all agree? Yeah. Yes, it's something you need to know. And now, seriously, people do have STDs. Some of them are permanent, some of them are temporary. How, how early do you tell someone? Well, I think it depends on... <laughs> Here's the thing, it's a very sensitive subject, so yeah. you don't want to just like lay that on the table before it's really even relevant. Before you're you gonna see how the date's going. If you see some intimacy in the near future, you might want to let them know. So yeah. if you're going to lay it on That's the table, good. then you should lay it on the table. Sure, but you know, <laughs> let the table be warm first, and then it's appropriate. Right? All right. Okay, so there's a poll, not a poll, there's research that says this is true, this is true research, that staring at a woman's breasts can make you healthier. And is this, it's, in, it's a German study, what does it say? 10 minutes of staring is equivalent to 30 minutes of cardio. Oh, okay, all right, so, it, so there are benefits to staring at a woman's breasts. And so you the guys question, must be... And the question of what woman would let you stare at her breast that long? Maybe it could be cumulative about staring at a bunch of different women's breasts. So they're saying it's like a workout, like you're getting a cardio workout that from maybe, staring at the... It could be like, you know, how pets are around, it relaxes you more, they say, or people live yeah. longer who have pets. It could be that maybe there are benefits to staring at a woman's breasts. It's a so very de-stressing You are activity. in business, because you are in the business of breasts. Of dancing with the stars, this, no? Yeah, <laughs> this is breasts everywhere when I, on the show. You know, so I, I don't think I, I gain any extra workout from it. it. I think it's the 10 hours of the cha-cha that, you know. That's, that's it. <laughs> um, what about the new trend of the side boob? I'm all about the side boob. Side boob. I'm not yeah. all about it. Do we have any boob. pictures of the side boob? <laughs> not like, not that, maybe not those side boobs. Well, wow, well, how, how, much better, well, how much better could you get than those side boobs? Well, maybe look that at these one. people. Anne Hathaway's really not shy, is she? Wow. No. no. Uh, so, yes, think, side know, boob or no side boob? I, I, I think I'm it a, can't be as much as the middle. The middle's too much. What I about Miley? Yeah, that's a little too much. Right? No wonder she got proposed I to think, at 19. I think I'm... <laughs> right? I think I'm used to it, because on the show, you know, all the costumes are so... There's a lot of side boob on Dancing And I think stars. the way they cut it, it like, it, you know, it holds it up, and it's just that's very... That's the thing. It's, it's, like, kind of... Sexy, elegant, but it's not trashy. Like, like you know, you know what I mean. So there's a hint of there's the like side. A, like Gwyneth hint. has a hint. I think Gwyneth has a hint, and that would be the best one in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. the hint. Okay, so that's there. the dancing with this. Okay, so that's where we are on that. The next topic <laughs> is: Should women surround themselves with guys to flirt with? I mean, a lot of women. This is the book. Actually, it says the gaggle. It's called the gaggle, and they say that the best way for women to work their angle is to have a lot of things going, a lot of things on the stove, a lot of different pots boiling, rather than just focus on one guy. Do you mean like a situation where they're at a club having a lot of guys kind of in their oh, harem kind I, of thing? I meant in your life, in like general, you have a lot okay. of things cooking, but I like that too. What do you think about having a lot of things cooking and then in the club? Well, in the club, that's a deterrent. I'm looking at these dudes and that's like interference. I'm like, I don't, well, Unless he's really overtly gay, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, what if she's got... But you don't think if she's got one thing cooking over there and then she moves away to get a drink, you're going to maybe want to get her attention, I think? No, because oh. then, then if she wants my attention after she's just been with that dude, like, I'm not about that, because then I'm going to leave and then the next dude's going to come in, so that just kind of shows me that. So a woman should be standing alone? Or no, just surrounded by her I girlfriends mean, having fun? A, have a couple gay dudes next to you. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, okay. Because you, you know... Gay dudes are the most entertaining on the planet, too. You know that, right? So they should be wearing pink or lavender so you know that they're not straight. Y you know what? <laughs> right? Yes, actually. I, mean, I would, would like know? some visual cues no, on everything. You know what I mean? How would you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh I think God. it's cool when girls have guy friends. So, like, that's totally cool. You know, I mean, I, I'm, growing up in you know my business, I have a lot of friends that are girls, and you know the girl I'm seeing right now, a lot of her friends are guys. And I have no problem with that. But I think if it's like, I have a big problem with all that. If it's that. a deliberate like <laughs> I'm gonna flirt with him and I'm gonna flirt with him just to make you jealous, then it's like I'm not into that. Oh, I have a problem. I think when a guy has a lot of girlfriends, it's annoying. And I think for <laughs> when girls have a lot of guy friends, that's annoying to the guy. What's anyway, true? thank you so much for being here, guys. You were great. This was so you. fun. We're coming back.